Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on keyboard shortcuts related to formatting in Microsoft Excel. So oftentimes in counseling research, when we're working with data, we want to be able to format these data efficiently. And these keyboard shortcuts can help with that. I have here to the left some fictitious data with several variables. And to the right, some keyboard shortcut combinations. So let's start with Control-1. So we select Control-1, or press Control-1. It opens up the Format Cells dialog. And you can see there are six tabs here, Number, Alignment, Font, Border, Fill, and Protection. So say that I leave this on Fill, and I close it, and I go somewhere else and select a range and hit control one it's going to bring me back to fill it's going to stay on whatever the last tab is whether I move to another range or not control shift F however works a little differently you can see I'm leaving this on alignment and I'm closing it and I hit control shift F and it brings me to the font tab. So no matter which tab it was left on, it's going to bring up the font tab and you can see it's set to Times New Roman 12. Then we have four different shortcuts here. Control 2, Control 3, Control 4, and Control 5. So this represents four short shortcuts. So I'm going to select the aptitude test values and I'll go to control 2 you can see that changes it to bold and to undo any of these four just hit it again so control 2 will bring it back to regular text control 3 will italicize all the values control 4 will underline them and control 5 will strike through. Now moving to the control shift tilde combination. This returns cells to the general Excel format. So for example, if I take these first 10 dates and hit control shift tilde, you can see it now returns the number that would correspond with that date. To undo this, I'll just hit Control Z. To format a cell or a range of cells as currency, so say pretest was supposed to be in currency, I would hit Control Shift dollar sign. And then Control Z to undo that. And let's say that aptitude tests, let's say these values were expressed in a percentage instead of a whole number as I have here. So I'll change a few, 0 0.83, 0 0.83, 0 0.86. To change these two percentages, it would be control shift percentage. And again, control Z will undo that. To format a cell as scientific notation, it's control shift carrot and that symbol is on the same key as the number six and you can see the value I have here 53 if I were to change this to scientific formatting it's not particularly helpful but if this were a larger number say something more like this then the scientific formatting would be more practical I'll return that back to how it was. Now the control shift pound sign applies the date format, but it's different than the date format I have here. So I'm going to convert this to general format, the 8-15-2015, and that is control shift tilde. So you see that value is 4 Two two three one. So if I go over here and type in four two two three one, I know that's 
August 15th, 2015, and I apply the date format, Control Shift Pound, you can see that it's 15th of August, 2015. So it's formatted differently than what I have over here. Say so we go back, Control Z, and change this value to 42232. So, so increase it by 1 and apply the Control Shift pound sign. See now it's the 16th of August 2015. If I wanted to apply the time format, say to the same cell, it would be Control Shift and the at work symbol. So Control Shift at work symbol. See now it's formatted for time. And if we want to apply a number format, I'll use the same cell. It's Control Shift exclamation point. Notice the decimal and the two places to the right of the decimal and the comma separating the values to make it a little easier to read as a number. So that brings us to control shift ampersand and control shift underscore. And these format borders so say I delete this value here, notice it has a line there. So I go into this cell, control shift underscore, and that's removed, the borders are removed. So let's say I go into aptitude test and select a region, and control shift underscore, all the border is removed. And to add borders, it's control shift ampersand. But it's important to recognize here that it will not work on multiple cells. So I select control shift ampersand and you can see the formatting the borders have, have not returned. But if I go to one cell it will put the borders around that one cell. So the quickest way to restore these borders would be control Z a few times to restore it to the way it was. I hope you found this video on keyboard shortcuts related to formatting in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.